Hi friends, welcome to Monday Meditation and Prayer. My name is Christina and I'll be guiding you through this uh, meditation on the Word of God. And uh, so find yourself placed um, someplace easy seated. You could even be at your desk planting your feet into the ground, um, sitting at your chair with your earbuds in. Completely up to you where and when you want to try and do this meditation. And you can do this at lunchtime um, just to recenter yourself, to uh, come back into the present if you feel anxiety or fear. Um, today, I'm going to sit on a block. Um, a lot of times they sit on a blanket or a cushion, but today I have a block with me. So remember, you can use anything around you if you'd like to elevate your hips and letting your knees come down. So finding some presence, finding yourself rooting in, shoulders over hips, and just release those shoulders down and out of your ears. You can shut down your eyes here and start to quiet your mind. You know, our mind never really stops um, working, but we can quiet it. We can allow it to process and move through thoughts. So allowing your thoughts to flow from one to the other and trying not to get stuck on one, say, I'll come back to this later. Just letting them flow. Take a few breaths here as you start to recognize the breath that God has given you today. The ins and the outs. And then finding this place of stillness. Perhaps here you just recognize the surrounding sounds and you just let those be sounds and not distractions. Paying attention to your physical body what parts of your body are rooted into the earth. Trust, stability. Start to soften your jaw downward, loosening the jaw, softening the tongue. Come to the space behind your eyes and start to release any facial tension behind your eyes, your cheekbones, your sinuses, being aware of what's going on in your face your head working on loosening the tongue a little bit more see if you can loosen the neck and then releasing any tension you might have in the shoulders yet still rising strong firm foundation spine is vertical so being present in a meditation is very important so here's a place where your ears can be open. So choosing to have ears open, really hearing the sounds and one, my voice. I'm going to read from Luke 6. And then I pray here, Father, come to us and uh, speak the words of truth to our heart and to our core. Let us hear this truth you have for us today in Luke 6, 41. It says, this is a parable that Jesus is speaking about. It says, why do you look at a speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How do you say to your brother, brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when you're yourself, you yourself fail to see the plank in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the plank out of your eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Take a few moments and think about um, judgment. This is really about judgment. Are we judging others before we're looking inward? So take this time to look inward and take an evaluation of your heart, your mind, your thoughts, your actions. using your own cadence of breath here nothing forced something easy think about the speck the log the plank in your eye starting to evaluate now I'll read that again as you start to look inward why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? Right, that's human nature. We want to look outward rather than looking inward. So take this time here to look inward. 
to your innermost being and to the parts that God has created, the parts that are scary to look at. Confront them today in this meditation. Invite the Lord to come into that space with you with the inhale. As we start to look at our inward most being, maybe we can uh, release anything that is not pleasing to the Lord. Just starting to remove the log, maybe even just being present of the log. Each day is a journey, and as you start to look inward at yourself, it's it's about paying attention to our own sin. How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take the speck out of your eye. When you yourself fail to see the plank in your own eye. So taking this time really just to look, keep seeking, with every inhale, just seek the Lord's presence in this process. And maybe here you start to release judgment that you had upon somebody else. Finding grace for others. And then here's a place you can breathe in grace for yourself. Because it is truly by grace we are saved, yes? So provide that time here to work through looking at your innermost parts, the workings of your head and of your heart. You hypocrite. First take the plank out of your own eye. So asking God here with a breath, help me remove this. Whatever he's revealed to you. And then take the time to settle in on working on removing the plank. It's a process. It's not just one breath or two breaths. It's meditating on the removal. And maybe it's a slow removal and you have to meet with God every day to work on that. And then you will clearly see to remove the speck from your brother's eyes with wisdom. So as you sit here, focusing on your internal self, Take a nice big inhale in through the nose and release out through the mouth. And when we start to recognize who we are on the inside, it sometimes is gray. And as we start to inhale light, God's presence into our life, we start to exhale out any darkness that is um, hovering within. So breathe in God's presence, the Holy Spirit come. And starting to release out any of the dark nature that resides, that lingers. Take a few breaths here just to ask God to come in and purify and teach. And then on your exhale, start to let yourself be molded. Allow removal to happen. A release of what holds you. Start to feel anything that's heavy within your body. Where do you feel it? It could be in your hips or your shins, your back or your heart. Sometimes when we recognize that log, it fires up tension throughout some parts of our body. So 
pay attention to those body parts as you start to recognize the log. And breathe in light into your body and on the exhale, release any tension through your physical being. Practice connecting to the body, breathing into the body, those areas that might feel stiff or tight or even achy at this time. Working on the release of tension, recognize any other parts of your body that still might be a little bit tense or tight, stagnant or stale, achy. And if you don't feel anything, sit a little bit longer, breathing in the presence of God and asking him to show you. What is it out of this verse that you need to take with you? Maybe your ears are open here and you say, show me what I need to take with me. Show me what I need to ingrain into the fibers of my being, allowing yourself to not just breathe in the word of God, but live the word of God and let it be part of your fibers of your being where you can truly and sincerely act it, walk it and talk it. Luke 6, 41. I invite you to read this whole chapter in Luke, Luke 6. But for today, this is what it says. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take that speck out of your eye. When you yourself fail to see the plank in your own eye you hypocrite first take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye what is it out of that verse you need to integrate into your practice of walking and talking and emulating Jesus. If you're not sure, breathe in. Once again, coming closer to God, asking the Holy Spirit to show you what is it that you need to learn from those words. Exhaling out the distractions, the heaviness, breathing in joy as you become more enlightened by the truth of God. Starting to breathe in grace for yourself as we have all been quick to judge and to be a hypocrite. Take a moment here to forgive yourself. And on the exhale, exhale out grace and peace to those around you, to those in your family, and to your sphere of influence. Take this time to be in thoughts with the Lord, meditating on the word recognizing your physical body. I welcome you to sit as long as you need here to listen, to be present with the moments of your breath. Anything, anytime your mind starts to wander, come back into that nice full inhale of the Holy, Holy Spirit breathing it in that connection to God and on the exhale just 
releasing out distraction. Follow through with your time in stillness. I will pray us out, but sit as long as you need. Father, we come to you as we are. We come to you just seeking your spirit to speak to our soul. As we examine ourselves, the insides of ourselves, our judgment areas, our hypocrisy, Lord, just help us to remove the plank from our eye, to pluck out our own sin and to work on that before looking upon somebody else. Taking this time to invite you in and to help us, to help us recognize our physical body where we hyper, harbor all of this darkness in the fibers of our being, we ask that you release any tensions from our body, any pains or aches. And if we don't feel any today, Lord, just show us the places of our lives, of our soul that need correction, that need your presence. As we sit and meditate, we sit and focus on your word. We praise you, we praise you for being here with us today. We praise you and thank you for your grace. For it is that what we are saved by your grace. By the sacrifice that you have made through Jesus Christ. We seek you on this day in this moment. Amen.